Hi, welcome back. Today I want to talk about asparagus, which actually are a weed. They are a wild weed, that's at least, at least that they started out to be. I was in Colorado many, many years ago and surprised to see growing off the side of the road like any other weed was these wonderful, thin, very sweet asparagus stalks popping up all over the place. So anyway, this is uh, not harvested from the side of the road. I did buy this from the store, from the health food store. But I want to tell you about a lot of people think the skinny little, the smaller it is, uh, the sweeter it's going to be because it's younger. And although that is true for most vegetables and fruits, that the smaller size is going to give you more of a concentration of uh, sweetness. That is not true with asparagus. If you want a better robust asparagus flavor, you want to pick asparagus that are about this size, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, I've seen ones that are very, very large and those I don't quite enjoy. But um, the dilemma is for most people, okay, how do I, how do I do the end? How do, what do I do to the bottom of the asparagus? So there's a couple of options that you have. And that is, some people will say that you can just take the asparagus and bend it with both fingers and where it breaks is pretty much that's the hardest part. People don't use it. By the way, I would never throw this out. Asparagus has been shown to help protect us against cancer. I would put this in my vegetable juicer and include that with the rest of the food that I'm juicing. But I find that you lose too much of it. You can cut off about an inch or so. You'd pretty be safe to cut that off. But another option altogether is not to even cut it, is to take your um, your peeler. By the way, this is my favorite peeler. It's a Kuhn, K-U-H-N. I'm giving a little uh, advertisement for them. Uh, it is one of the best peelers I've ever had. It's a slingshot style with a carbon steel blade. That's important to remember. Carbon steel, see how gray it is, stays sharper longer than a stainless steel. Most blades have a stainless steel blade on them and they just don't, they're not quite as sharp and they don't stay sharp as longer. I will use this thing for years before I have to toss it and it cost me three dollars and fifty cents. So get a slingshot style. It's much easier to work and I'll show you another time some other vegetables to use with this. But anyway, you just take the bottom, I'd say the last couple inches and just peel the bottom of it like this. So you get a little bit of a point to it and that part is tender. So it's not that this isn't tender, it's just that the the outer skin of it is too tough to reach the tender part. So if you peel that away, you'll be able to eat that as well. The best way to cook asparagus, uh, we do very simply, we put it in a frying pan with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil with a little bit of sea salt. Uh, our favorite sea salt, by the way, is Himalayan sea salt. We grind it as we need it in our home and put, it in, uh, put a lid on the frying pan and steam it for five minutes tops. You want your vegetables to be crunchy. You want your asparagus to be able to literally be that um, crisp that you can hold it up like that. If it's very overcooked, it's not going to have a good flavor. Another way that I cooked in a cooking class recently and everybody enjoyed it, put it on a cookie sheet, drizzle some extra virgin olive oil, some lemon and some sea salt and put it at 400 degrees for eight minutes in the oven and it just has that wonderful roasted flavor and the asparagus flavor just pops out. That's another way to do it as well. So thanks for joining me and try some asparagus. It's good for you.